My name is Matt Rich. I'm the senior pastor here at Unity Presbyterian Church, and I want to welcome you to this week's edition of Life Together. This coming Sunday is December the 18th. It's the fourth Sunday in the season of Advent. We'll continue with our theme during our Sunday morning worship services, and that theme is Glory Draws Near. We'll be celebrating together this Sunday as we think about the angels and the shepherds, as the angels bring this glory from the Lord to the shepherds, and the shepherds just can't sit in the field afterwards. They need to respond in some way, and so they go to Bethlehem, and then after they have seen the Christ child, they return glorifying God. What does that mean for us in our encounter with God's glory as it draws near? How does it change us? How are we empowered to share this good news with others as well. We'll be thinking about that at our morning services, again, 8.45 and 11 o'clock, our normal services. We'll be in the 2010 Sanctuary. Please come and join us. This is truly a marvelous season that we are celebrating together here at Unity Presbyterian Church. If you can't join us in person, please join us online. You can find us on Facebook, on YouTube, and certainly on the church website as well. So please join us for worship this coming Sunday morning. Sunday afternoon, we'll have the youth ugly Christmas sweater party that begins at three o'clock, and that's for middle school and high school youth. So hope that they are coming to, to be a part of that time of fellowship and fun together. And then I'm here in the historic sanctuary because at five o'clock on Sunday evening, we will be celebrating our service that we're calling this year God with us, a service of healing and hope. It's a recognition that the holidays are not always times of great joy and celebration, especially for those who know the grief and pain of loss as they approach this holiday season. And so we offer this service, this God with us, a service of healing and hope as an opportunity to come, to hear the words of scripture, to be surrounded by prayer and music, and to recognize that God draws near to us, not only in times of joy and celebration, but also in times of pain and loss as well. The service is not just for those who are experiencing loss themselves, but also for others from our congregation, that together we might come and draw near to one another, confident that God's glory does draw near to us during this season. Again, that's at five o'clock here in the historic sanctuary, and we'll be gathered on Sunday evening, December the 18th. Looking ahead to the following week, we will be um, finding ourselves finally at Christmas. And to celebrate together, we'll be outside for a service on the front lawn with luminaries and candles, music and prayer. Uh, that service will be on December the 23rd, Christmas Eve Eve, at 6 o'clock p.m. We'll share a little more next week about the content and details about preparing for that service. But um, assuming that the weather is both warm enough and not uh, inclement, not weather with, with rain or snow, we'll be outside on December the 23rd for that service on Christmas Eve Eve. On Christmas Eve itself, uh, the Saturday, December the 24th, we'll have four services here at Unity. All of them will be in the 2010 Sanctuary. Our interactive family, children-friendly service will be at 11 o'clock in the morning, and then we have services at 2, 4, and 6 o'clock p.m., and those will all include candlelight and communion. So come and join us for one of those four services on Christmas Eve, or pick more than one if you'd like to join us for that as well. Christmas Day, we'll have a single service at 10 o'clock. It'll be a casual service, so come relaxed to just encounter the Christ child being born in our midst, as well as a chance to sing some of your favorite and familiar carols. It's gonna be a wonderful service as well. So join us on December the 25th as well. More information on all of those services for Christmas Eve Eve, Christmas Eve, and Christmas Day will be in next week's video. But for now, thank you. Thank you so much for all that you've done to be a part of life and ministry here at Unity Presbyterian Church this year. We are so excited because God's glory is drawing near and is present in our midst in so many ways. So thank you for all that you have done, and we invite you to come and be a part of all that remains as we continue to draw near to the Christ child who's born in our hearts today throughout this season ahead. God bless you, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon.